Disclaimer. These commentaries fall under the purposes of fair use. Please do not harass the people that I mention in this video. Without further ado, please enjoy the commentary. And as always, I'll see you at the end. Newbie Dash is an episode I've been trying to talk about in detail for a very long time, but it's an episode that is fundamentally difficult to discuss in a public venue. Because the Wonderbolts draw a lot of parallels to the military, a lot of military bronies hold the episode in high regard because of its supposed accuracy. The most vocal of these people being Joshua Burner, the founder of Fob Equestria and known for serving five years in the Marine Corps. So trying to criticize an episode so close to someone with military experience tends to appear as if it's being disrespectful to the military. Then I remembered something important. Mr. Burner wasn't actually in the military, he was in the Marine Corps' band, the ceremonial I'm helping of most military branches. I and Lily, whittle me this. If someone is holding a tuba and someone else is holding a gun, does that guy who's holding the tuba seem obsolete? The answer to that is no, because that would be dumb. Every single operation has itself segments, parts. If one part is removed, then the entirety of the operation falls apart, no matter how small. And you fly out saying, this part is obsolete because I say so. Well then congratulations, that's the corner of stupidity. That is the corner of stupidity. That out doesn't work, if the entire premise can be completely unraveled by a single sentence. Newbie Dash is one such episode. While Rainbow spends an entire 22 minutes trying to get the rest of the Wonderbolts to stop calling her Rainbow Crash through a massive number of ridiculous stunts that would make an average episode of Seinfeld seem creative, at the end of the day, all she really had to do was respond to being called Rainbow Crash with Stop Doing That. Oh gosh, if only I had something that could counter that mode of thinking. But you guys all called me Rainbow Crash? Yeah, so? My nickname's Clipper. You know why they call me that? Uh, cause you're as fast as a ship? Because I clipped my wing on a flagpole as I was landing on my first day. Huh. Huh. Flatfoot! My first day, I misjudged my landing and came down right on Spitfire's hoof. Daisy. Slowpoke. Hoof and mouth. You don't want to know what they call me. Whoa, that is so much worse than Crash! So much then using that clip, if Rainbow Dash went indeed to say, stop calling me that, then Rainbow Dash probably would have said, I'm better than you, and I'm better than your name and conventions. Which, guess what? If you think that you're more special than everyone else in the, in the military, well then congratulations, you're pretty much guaranteed to be kicked out of the military. Rainbow Dash has to put up with being called a name that actually has a lot of personal baggage for her, but the rest of the Wonderbolts don't have to put up with their behavior being criticized? Lily, Jay, whatever. If you did not see the ending, well then why exactly are you st showing off the entirety of this episode? Because guess what? One of the clips that you show directly shoots your argument in the foot. Which is where the Wonderbolts all tell Rainbow Dash that their nicknames were given to them for mess ups that they had in the past. It's kind of like the point of saying, Duh, yeah, I don't like Devil May Cry, but I haven't played any of the game, so it's, I'm not exactly one to talk now, am I? Final thoughts time. It's pretty obvious this video might have been made out of spite. You wanna know why that is? Because Lily, at the time of the video, had some story falling out with Josh Scorche, the person who was targeted in this video. Now am I saying that this video was entirely made out of spite? No. It probably wasn't an honesty. It was probably just the equal of, you know, some sort of a bad argument. Which, you know, people usually have themselves some sort of a bad day, eventually. But then this would flout somebody trying to debunk someone and failing miserably. So much would that out of the way, this has been the Flames of Insanity, and as always, I will see you guys on the flip side.